Cat TV. And today I wanted to talk about uh, our recent trip. Uh, we just went out on the boat in Dubai, uh, and I really wanted to fish with the new slow jigging rod, the slow flow from Favorite. And this is the 661 UL version, up, up to 50 gram jigs. And uh, I was using 0.6 PE line on this and was having really great fun on a micro jigging session. Before we go into the whole fishing videos, <coughs> the thing is that I wanted to tell about this road that uh, we worked one year uh, on this, uh, creating this beautiful road uh, with, together with favorite team. Uh, keeping in mind uh, that we have different areas that uh, here in uh, UAE and GCC like deep areas up to 100 and uh, 150 meter depth and uh, areas with a very shallow you know like 30 20 15 meters only so we created uh, four different type of models which will suit different type of uh, slow jigging uh, version this particular, the, the, the thing is with this slow jigging rods, they have a very sensitive and at the same time strong tip which can go into a very circular shape and uh, fight really nice fish, you know, I mean a good size fish even on the ultralight version it can uh, good for kayaking, good for boats because this rod can even uh, make a circular turns, you know, like especially like when the fish, you know, it's trying to escape under the boat it has the spiral guides which will uh, give you less tangles at the tip of the rod while you are slow jigging uh, very comfortable ergonomic design where you can fully you know uh, put like uh, under your arm and uh, play with the rod in the way you want and at the same time uh, if you are fighting and uh, fighting the fish with the rod itself uh, you can still do it, you know, like the, the handle is very comfortable. So regarding the trip itself, so we went out early morning and we were looking uh, for different species. Uh, the main, of course, target was uh, trying to... guys wanted to cast and uh, find the kingfish. And... Uh, but uh, kingfish wasn't very active that day, so we decided to uh, concentrate more on jigging and I specifically got this rod, you know, the ultralight because I wanted to enjoy my small I'm using just a simple bait casting reel on this the lightest on the lightest slow claw which is more than enough of course you can use also a uh, special uh, jigging reel but even normal bait casting reel can be enough and it works perfectly the only difference will be is that the handles like you might need the longer handle and of course like uh, try to have higher gear ratio like for example this one has six seven point six gear ratio so this is good one two three four five six seven small jumps spring it drop it down back one two three four five six seven eight Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spring it. Drop it down back. Again, Kuda. Kuda again.
That's a nice Suli on slope low. Wait, wait, let's, I'll take a picture then after. Relax. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah. On 0 0.6 especially, I mean, this is a really good size. A very sensitive tip. fish you don't trash it on this setup on the boat you don't care that much the tip is very soft so it gives you a good way to fight the fish properly no big size no more. This is grouper. We were uh, not very far from shore, like inshore areas. We, I was using 30 gram jig, which was more than enough. There was not too much current. We were uh, trying to uh, check out different spots. Uh, the storm just finished, so the fish wasn't very active, you know, the, there was a st still some uh, sand particles in the water that could uh, be, you know, affected some of the fish action. But anyway, we managed to catch the big enterors and a nice sized grouper. And uh, speaking about the slow jigging itself, just to enter the the beginning the, the whole game you know like especially for dubai Abu Dhabi areas you would need a slow jigging rod for example especially for people who are interested in slow jigging uh, slow jigging rod up to 50 up to 100 gram depending on the areas uh, you are doing so uh, in consideration if you want to understand uh, what exactly you want to use so it's uh, usually considered one gram of weight per meter of water so if for example you have 30 meters depth <coughs> that means you would, need, you would need minimum of 30 meter uh, 30 gram jig of course this is not taking uh, current not taking the tides not taking the wind drifting speed into consideration all depends on the situation completely like the situation so if you are going slow jigging for example in Dubai areas I would suggest for you to have jigs from 20 gram up to 80 gram minimum this is the range of jigs that you would require in Abu Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi areas you might need a bit sh uh, smaller jigs because the areas are shallower you know like 15 10 5 meters sometimes <coughs> so uh, you might go with a, a lower max 40 gram for example max 30 gram but in Dubai areas this is between 20 to 60 gram and if you're going you know so consider it one meter uh, of depth you would need one gram of the weight and according to the type of jig if it, the jig is wider that means you need it much uh, it will sink slower and uh, you would need a uh, much more heavier weight so all depends on the situation and let's say for example the situation that I was in uh, uh, on Friday uh, it was a uh, very low wind, uh, not a uh, high current, you know, just a normal normal uh, speed current and the drift was very slow. So I was using 30 gram jigs around uh, 20 meters of depth and that's additional 10 grams because the boat is moving so and I want my jigs to fall as fast as possible 
and I want to play it as vertical as possible. Like for example, if I would put 15 gram jig until it reached the bottom, it would be already not vertical. It would be already, you know, like uh, on a 45 degree angle or kind of like that, you know, which is not, uh, your jigs will not be played perfectly. So consider that, all that in, in mind and keep the jigs between 20 to 80 grams in your box for Dubai areas. I think I should use a smaller uh, jig. Yeah. Put 30 gram, 40 gram. 20? 20 will be, what's your line? One. Won't be put 30. What's that? Good, good size, yalla. That's Barracuda maybe trying to catch. Okay. Yeah, that's easy, a sherry, man. Easy. Wait, that's Ali. Easy, Ali. Oh. Good size, sherry. This is sherry. That's a sherry, Ali. Yes. Ali, this is the sherry. That's the sherry, Ali. That's the sherry. That's like a. 2 3 kg maybe. You want to hold it? The the thing is uh once you drop your jig the main point and you will see that in the video also. Uh you know once you drop the jig you start playing it. You play it like 5 6 7 jerks above the bottom. And don't play it till the end of the you know like you don't retrieve the line just uh, after that you know like if your depth for example is 20 meters just put your jig up to 10 meters up to 8 meters and drop it back so continue that until your uh, jig becomes uh, non-vertical so it becomes like a, you know the angle is already lost then you retrieve the jig completely and drop it back again and uh, so you do jerks you do simple jerks like one two three and uh, stop and while you stop you will have uh, that very important spring which many people forget like for example once you do the jerks so one two three four for example you play the jig and put your rod down and wait for the jig on to free fall so it will be falling by itself and you know when the jig falls by itself it will start making its own shapes and once it's you know your line gets tight you will have one spring like that so make sure that you get that spring because this spring is very important it stops the jig you know the jig goes down makes a nice jump and stops gives a pause and many times, many times, you will get bites on specifically that spring. So you play the jig, the fish sees the, your play, but once you stop and give it free fall, the fish will bite. So that spring, and sometimes what people do, I mean, they play the jig, for example, and then they don't stop, they don't give it free fall, and they drop it back again. So you miss that point of, uh, fish when it was like following your jig and it's waiting for it to stop for a while so it can aim and strike it you know and you're making it fall and fish either going to not follow it or it's gonna miss the strike because the, your jig is falling too fast and it didn't aim properly or if in case of barracuda it's gonna miss it and uh, cut the leader so that's why giving a nice stop, a nice pause after the free fall is a good chance, you know, for fish to aim properly and uh, get exactly on the assist hook or on the on the treble hook or whatever you're using there. It's a good size fish also.
Yeah. And they don't trust me with the phone. <laughs> so drop one, two, three, four, five, and then give that. Drop again one, two, three, four, five. This jump. The spring is very important. So the thing is here, you just one, two, three, and you drop the jig on the free fall. I hope you enjoyed this video and we are going to bring more videos and tutorials regarding the slow jigging itself because uh, slow jigging is uh, very not only popular but it's also a very interesting type of uh, fishing it's uh, more an art of fishing than just trying to catch a fish because uh, the connection between you and the whole gear you know and the line and the jig itself and it becomes like a one piece it's like extension of your hand you know and you are playing the the lure you know the jig very softly nicely and uh, it's a it's it's a, it's a completely different philosophy of fishing and uh, for those people who never tried slow jigging i would suggest to try because uh, especially when you're going on the boat and uh, you know when you have specifically slow jigging that means like your your setup is going to be perfect for jigging and you're gonna keep the casting uh, rod aside if you while you're jigging you get some kind of uh, action on top you don't need to change the door or anything you just take your uh, casting rod and use it on the fish that is laying on the top otherwise you are playing properly uh, and nicely for the slow jigging itself and uh, uh, hope to see you soon later if you have any questions regarding the road or anything about slow jigging uh, put the comments below and we'll uh, come back with more videos soon on slow jigging and of course we're gonna come back with more tutorials on uh, boat fishing and other type of fishing really really soon thank you very much for watching and see you soon